Spokane Public Schools is grappling tonight with how best to balance its budget. Tonight, the school board looked at a wide range of potential cuts from cutting librarians to stopping after school bus service. KXLY 4's Tanya Dahl was at that meeting. And Tanya, the district has been here before. They have been here before. It's actually faced several cuts over the last eight years, and next year it could see a 9 to $12 million decrease in funding. So tonight's staff actually presented several ideas totaling $18 million to see what cuts would leave the least impact. We're providing more ideas than will probably in the end be needed. Fueled by a lengthy PowerPoint presentation and the occasional jolt of caffeine, Spokane Public Schools staff and the school board talked numbers for more than three hours tonight. The process has become all too familiar. Part of the challenge we've had is we have been in the reduction mode uh, to, for the last 10 years, 54 million. A laundry list of ideas were discussed like not funding elementary math textbooks and stopping elementary extracurricular programs eliminating after school bus service, even switching staff paychecks to direct deposit only. From simple cuts to sending out 238 layoff notices just last week, the school district is up against a wall. At first we cut lots of things that didn't get near the schoolhouse door, uh, but when you've cut those and the legislature continues to cut funding, then you have to, you know, look at the School. Major schoolhouse items include a proposal to cut the central administration by $1.5 million. That could mean a 3% based salary cut for admin staff, as well as slashing 11 teaching and learning positions. The district also looked at cutting instructional support positions by $3 million, potentially nine high school instructional coaches and 10 elementary librarian positions would have to go. Tonight, Spokane Public Schools didn't point fingers. Instead, it talked ideas as a district attempts to forge ahead, not knowing the future. We manage money very well. It's just that the state funding reductions are causing us to have to tighten, uh, tighten our belt. And the school, school board will have another work session scheduled for May 18th, and two community budget forums are scheduled for May 23rd and 24th. For exact times and dates and uh, locations, visit us at kxly.com and click on news links. Reporting live on the Skydeck, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4 HD News.